It's squash season and I have fallen in love with a new little squash called a butterkin. Isn't that the cutest name? And it's a cross between a butternut squash and a pie pumpkin. So you can see that the outside is just kind of a pastel peachy color and inside it's orange and it has a creamy texture when it's cooked. It's really moist and delicious. So first of all, to soften it up a little bit because the flesh is really hard and it's a little bit hard to get the knife through. So I put it in the oven, the whole squash, just like this, put it on your oven rack at 375 degrees, which is the temp I'm going to roast the squash at, and leave it in for 15 to 20 minutes and it'll just soften up enough so that you can cut it a lot more easily. So that's what I've done to one of the little butterkins. I've already put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. I've cut it and it'll be a little bit warm when you take it out of the oven. So I use my little rubber gripper for more than opening jars. It really protects your hand when you're opening or when you're holding something that's hot like a piece of squash out of the oven. So just scrape out those seeds. I'm going to mix up a special spicy and sweet mixture to brush on my squash before I put it into the oven. So I've already put two tablespoons of olive oil into a little bowl and I'm going to add the sweet, which is one tablespoon of brown sugar. And I'm going to add the spice. And today I'm using curry powder, but I've used chili powder. I've used an Ethiopian spice blend that it's, it's actually a red pepper base, so it's really spicy, but it has things like cinnamon and cloves and cardamom and allspice, so it's really, really good for fall too. So I'm gonna add curry powder today, and I actually have a whole tablespoon. I know it sounds like a lot, but once you brush it on, it's not too much. And a teaspoon of sea salt. And then I'll just mix that together, and then I'm just going to brush this spicy and sweet mixture right over all the cut sides of my squash. And now it's ready to go into a 375 degree oven for probably 45 minutes to an hour and you'll know it's done when you push a fork into the flesh and it goes in really easily. And when I push that fork in, the juiciness of that moist flesh just oozes out. It's ready to eat and it is going to be delicious. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.